this is a recording uh, that I'm doing a whisper video it's going to go for several um, several minutes and I, what I'm trying to say actually it's going to go for several videos I'm just in a very relaxed state at the moment soon become very relaxed. So this video is a journey to PP Islands. Uh, PP Island, it's actually a number of islands in Phuket, well, just off Phuket. And um, all I knew about it from what I saw, um, the movie The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, that film by Danny Boyle. Uh, I, I saw that film a long time ago, and I always remembered the, the place just looked absolutely stunning. So I had to go there uh, for myself, see it for myself. And, um, that's the reason why I went to Phuket in the first place, was to see these islands. Uh, so what I did was uh, I booked a, I went on a tour, and they, there's me, and um, they take you out on a speedboat. There's several options you can take. Just because, like, you've only got a certain amount of time in the day, and you want to try and see as much as possible. And uh, this was really cool. This tour, they they really show you everything in half a day, pretty much. Like, it was an early start. I remember that. I uh, like getting on the bus at seven a.m. And uh, finally finishing up at around 6 p.m. at night. But the day just, um, you don't think about that. I've slowed some of this footage down actually. Uh, this was shot with a um, Sony action cam. And it really is a great camera if you want to do some like underwater shots which I have going here because I knew like I really wanted to shoot some underwater footage I've never done that before so on the morning of the flight uh, I quickly went to my local electronics store JB Hi-Fi and um, picked up I was umming and ahhing about it and I just said look stuff it I need I will regret it if I don't film something underwater. So I bought this um, camera for around $200 Australian. It's called the Sony Action Cam and it allows you to film underwater. Thank <laughs> you. 
and uh, I've never done s snorkeling before so this I had to quickly learn how to um, uh, use the breathing tube breathing hose whatever you call it and um, yeah it was so beautiful swimming with the fish It's quite a, um, a big tour group that I went on, and um, it's just so beautiful being underwater. It's, it's another world, and like within a few moments of um, swimming around underwater, I just thought to myself, um, "Why the hell do you worry so much about everything?" It's just so pointless. And even, you know, looking at this footage right now, I'm thinking, sometimes I delve back into um, my, my anxious, my anxiety creeps up on me again. And um, all I really should do is remember my time under, under the ocean. swimming with the fish because that was the, the most at peace I've felt in ages swimming like being weightlessness and just um, oh my god it's so beautiful if you haven't done it I recommend I highly recommend um, scuba diving uh, you don't have a tank on your back. That's uh, snorkeling, I think. Or maybe I'm getting the two mixed up. Yes, I think I am. Sorry about that. Um, but the, as we were swimming, the guys on the boat were throwing like pieces of bread into the water, and all the fish come around.
for Tsunami. I remember watching it on television uh, live and on Boxing Day 2004. You know, just after you've had Christmas and you've, you're just relaxing after Christmas and then this horrible tragedy unfolds before your eyes. It really affected this, like, what you are seeing now was the ocean smashed, crept in, well, forced its way in and swept so many people out. This would have been, uh, I'm pretty sure, underwater. The, the waters rose so high because, um, I'm sure you know about tsunamis. Uh, the first sign is uh, the water recedes, and um, that attracted a lot of people to the beach because they didn't know what was going on, and so all of that would have been sand, and there was the boats would have just been stuck on the sand. later the, the ocean comes roaring back in and obliterates everything in its path. So there are a lot of hotels on the beach uh, all the way around and a lot of vendors and street vendors and stuff like that. Uh, that was all obliterated. 